بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم so let us take one more example for uh, payback period if inflow is equal uh, but one thing before to read the question remember that in this question uh, we need some sort of adjustment so we have to make some adjustment so please now let us read the example a project costs 20 lakh or 2 million rupees and yields annually a profit of rupees 3 lakh after depreciation at 12.5 so 12.1 by 2 means 12.5 percentage but before tax at 50 percentage calculate the payback period see if you remember uh, from chapter number two as well as at the beginning of this chapter we mentioned that in order to calculate the payback period and rest of the method except the arr or accounting rate of return the profitability of the company should be at profit before the profit after tax but before depreciation but in this case if you see cost of the project is equal to amount of 20 lakh but the profitability of the company is equal to 3 lakh per year but this one is after depreciation of 12.5 percentage it is just before tax of equal to how much 50 percentage it is before tax and after the presentation, but we need to make some adjustment. It should be basically after tax, but before, before the presentation. If you remember the formula, the previous formula, which we have mentioned, or we have discussed in chapter number two, let me draw the formula here. So basically we have to do based on this formula. So now let me draw this one. I have already drawn here. So if you remember this formula, we discussed that. From total of revenue minus the total of expenses, whatever is the difference, the difference simply can be called as profit before tax and depreciation. And after that, minus depreciation, you will get profit after depreciation but before tax. Then minus tax, you will get profit after depreciation and tax, right? And once again, at the depreciation, you will get profit before depreciation and after, after tax, right? So this is basically the formula. Now, when you read the question, you please find out your step. Whether you're in this step, whether you're in this step, whether you're in this step, whether you're in this step. If you're, for example, in this step, you have to make the following adjustments. If you're in this step, make the following adjustment. If you're in this stage, make the following adjustment. If you're just in the last stage, if your profitability is profit before the precession and after tax, it means no need for adjustment. So please do not make an adjustment. But in this example, if you see our profitability is amount of three lakh. Per year, it is after depreciation but before tax. Now let us check that after depreciation and before tax is basically here. Where is our profitability? Our profitability is basically in this level. Which level? This level. Profit after depreciation but before tax. Profit after depreciation but before tax of this month. So let us check that how much is our profitability. Just follow the formula and make your adjustment. So in this example, our profitability is in this level. How much profit? Profit is equal to amount of 3 lakh. So this is the profit which is given in the question, but this is of course after the precession but before tax. Amount is equal to how much? 3 lakh. Rest of the adjustment should be made now. Then minus tax. Tax is given how many percentage? Basically, if you see there is a 50 percentage tax given for us. How many percentage? 50 percentage tax. So from this one, we have to minus 50 percentage of the tax. 50 percentage of 3 lakh become equal to how much? 1 lakh. 1 lakh 50,000. So give it with a minus sign or otherwise you just take it in a bracket. If you come down part, from 3 lakh minus amount of 1 lakh 50,000. So you will get amount of 1 lakh. 1 lakh 50,000, right? So this amount of 1 lakh 50,000 is now it is called profit after depreciation and tax, right? Before it was profit after depreciation but before tax. Now tax is also deducted, so it is called profit after depreciation and, and tax. Next step, we have to once again add the depreciation. And if you see rate of depreciation is given for us, and the whole amount or the amount of depreciation is not given, so we have to calculate depreciation. How to calculate depreciation? So let me calculate depreciation in this way, right? How to calculate? Calculate depreciation. Sorry, depreciation. The precision is just equal to how to calculate the precision basically cost of the project is given for us and rate of the precision is also given how many percentage 
So 12.5 percentage of amount of 20 lakh become as our depreciation. Why? Because they have basically followed the straight line method. So now let us mention cost of the project is equal to amount of 20 lakh multiplied to 12 sorry 12.5 percentage right so press the equal sign you will get how much depreciation depreciation of 2 lakh 2 lakh 50 thousand right so in this way you have calculated the depreciation once again how to calculate depreciation so the amount of depreciation is directly not given in the question but and instead of that rate of depreciation is given so depreciation is equal to cost of the asset which is amount of 20 lakh so multiply to the rate of depreciation to a 12 point 12 1 by 2 become 12.5 percentage so depreciation become equal to how much 250,000 now mention 250,000 so 1 lakh 50 plus 250 become equal to how much 4 lakh 4 lakh what do we call for this one we call it profit before depreciation but after tax so if you remember for calculation of the payback period we need this amount so we need this adjustment now let us apply the formula for payback basically here. Yeah. So let us say payback for you is just equal to. Now let us calculate the, the payback. If you remember the formula, we said initial investment divided by annual cash inflow. How much is the initial investment? Initial investment, once again, simply means cost of the project. So divided by annual inflow. This is basically the annual inflow of the project. Annual inflow is just amount of equal to four like that. So if you divide by 4 lakh, you will get equal to how much? 5. So after that, just mention 5 years. So it means the project can recover the cost of this one within how many years? Within 5 years. So let me tell once again. So in this question, we had the cost of the project as well as the annual profit of the project. Annually, we received the same thing, but we need some adjustment. What was the adjustment? The profit was after the, the procession of this much, but before tax of 50 percentage. But basically, we need just the opposite. What the opposite? Opposite means we need after tax but before depreciation. So in order to bring it on that condition, first of all, we have to check that what we are in what condition. So if you see, we are in this condition, profit after depreciation. Yes, profit after depreciation. But before tax, yeah, before tax. So put your value here. Why? Because you are in this level. After this, make the rest of adjustment. Rest of the adjustment is, of course, available in the formula. You just remember the formula. Less tax. So 50% tax is deducted, 1 lakh 50,000 is deducted. From 3 lakh minus 1 lakh 50, you will get how much? You will get 1 lakh 50. This is called profit after depreciation and tax. So once again, at the depreciation, you will get this value. And this value is equal to how much? 4 lakh. So this is basically the annual cash inflow of the project. This is what? Annual, annual cash inflow. Annual cash inflow of the project is equal to this much. So what was the formula? The formula was the payback period is equal to initial investment which is the cost of the project divided by annual cash inflow how much is annual cash inflow equal to four lakh so 20 divided by four equal to five it means this project can recover the cost of this one within five so definitely if each year we have four lakh profit four into five become how much 20 so 20 can recover the cost of